Good Friday, Village family. I hope uh, you are well this day. Um, I uh, Let me invite you to go to our website, villageprez.org. Uh, click on the upcoming events uh, link. Uh, there you'll, you'll see uh, what we've planned uh, for ministry over the next weeks and months. Uh, you can s learn of the Village University opportunities that are provided for you. Uh, there's information about the uh, a sound of science, uh, as Jan Crable and Ryan Maine down at Village on Antioch are talking about the science behind the music that we hear. Uh, fascinating. Uh, you'll be able to read something about uh, Holy Reset. You're going to be hearing more about that uh, February the 7th. Uh, I'm excited about Holy Reset. There's a lot of other opportunity there. I want you to, I want you to uh, uh, take a look at it because this is a way that we provide you some inspiration and encouragement to nourish your own spiritual life uh, in this season. So this Sunday, uh, this Sunday, I'm preaching a sermon I've entitled, It's Not Good to Be Alone. This was actually recorded several weeks ago and we put it on the shelf as we chose to respond to the attack on the Capitol. But I'm bringing this sermon back because it's an important word for us. You know, 2020 has pushed us away from our social uh, connections, our social networks with, with one another. And it's highlighted how important it is to be in relationship with one another. Not just to experience relationship, but to practice relationship. And, and so I want to talk about when, when this pandemic is in our rearview mirror, I hope we can learn to be intentional about our practice of friendship. I want to talk about that a little bit. But I also want to talk about the importance of, of being a neighbor in our larger community, a friend in our larger community, being a good citizen. Just one example. I, I've watched, as you have, the news reports of hunger in our nation. Often we, we see people uh, come not only to our food pantries, but to food pantries across the country, sometimes in their cars, lined up for blocks, maybe even a mile. People who depend on the generosity of others just for food. This is troubling. This is concerning as, as communities are unraveling in this way and it's incumbent upon us as good citizens to want better for our communities. So I want to talk about the importance of being a neighbor in our larger communities to be a good citizen. Uh, one last thing about Sunday. You have noticed that we are able to find hymns that we as a congregation have sung before and to find the a video of that and incorporate it into our worship service. It, I've loved seeing you in that way and singing along with you in that way. Uh, this Sunday, we're singing a hymn that I didn't know until I came to Village, uh, and it's become one of my favorites. And the last verse, the last verse is this. It says, for the harvest of the Spirit, thanks be to God. For the good we all inherit, Thanks be to God for the wonders that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all, that love has found us. Thanks be to God. I am grateful to God for you this day. I hope to see you Sunday. Shalom.